What up guys, so I just had a shower, just came back, um, just came back from basically doing everything. Um, the phone, the iPhone, it's here, it's charging, it's got the axes and stuff on here, so I gotta back this up to the lappy, and then put it onto the iPhone 6. Uh, that's the uh, OnePlus One, if you guys don't know, I have one of those as well. Um, yes, so it's a bit of a bleak afternoon, I guess. It's quite annoying. Still have to call the insurance. If you haven't heard what happened, we got into a crash on the way home. Basically changed lane with the signal on, but then there was a car in my blind spot and he wasn't paying attention as well, and I wasn't paying attention as well. So when I changed lane, I kind of crashed into his car. So um, I don't know whose fault it is. It sounds like, I mean, <laughs> Obviously, it sounds like it's my fault by the Australian rules. If you're behind, you don't let somebody in. It's his fault, so I don't know. I mean, I, I feel bad for the guy because today he just he was driving a brand new Isuzu four wheel drive that's three weeks old. Um, I mean, I don't mind copying being at fault in that sense, but the law is the law. Um, it just goes that I mean, whoever's at fault just had to pay the insurance access. Uh, which is, I think mine's about 600 bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go show you the car. Come with me. I'll bring you outside and show you the car. It's, that's just a very nice one. Good job. Um, He's all right until bam. Check that out. So you can see where the wheel arches is. So he was exactly in my blind spot when I turned. Now that door can't really open or close. Um, so yeah, it was still really dirty. The wheels are still really dirty from the camping trip. Um, I'm just going to leave it up to the insurance. I hope that they can just fix it though, because I really like this car. Uh, I'm kind of falling in love with it, really. Um, never thought I would like full drive, I never did. Uh, it was always a fast car kind of a person. Uh, fast, low. Um, yeah, and in the meantime, since we're at home, we are going to do some backup on the home iMac to get into all the drives and then after that maybe you just chill out for a bit we'll see I am tremendously annoyed at the moment so basically this morning I forgot to bring this little guy this camera out with me to the airport and on the way back out from the airport um, I got into a car crash uh, I did use the new iPhone 6 to film a bit of stuff uh, the vlog before that but then um, when I got home I plugged it into the computer um, it reset it so basically nothing got saved everything I filmed today has gone to waste and I just spent the past hour and a half on hold with the insurance company um, because apparently there is a uh, there's a big storm or something like that up in up in Hobart that destroyed a lot of properties and stuff. So the the claim line is jammed up. So I was I didn't I wasn't aware of that until an hour and a half later. And got told that so I just hang up so uh, still haven't haven't made the claim for the insurance yet so that's really annoying got to do it tomorrow um, and on top of that as you can see on my desk I'm still backing up a whole lot of stuff the iMac is acting up that's really annoying I'm not really sure what's going on 
So, um, I've just got my laptop to work with at the moment, and that's not very powerful. And yeah, I am going to call it a night. I can't be stopped anymore. Uh, tomorrow should be a better day. Well, tomorrow we're going to shoot uh, for family um, out in the west. So I'm going to travel all the way to the west. So that should be good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I guess that's it for me for tonight. Uh, remember to stay safe. Have fun, keep dreaming big. Cheers.